you guys ever think about dying? <laughs> Barbie is a lot of fun. Really good fun. And it's got a ton of things going on in the movie, but at its core, it's about change and acceptance. If it wasn't obvious before, this movie was made for women. Now, I say women because it has girls in mind, but a lot of the jokes and references are definitely made for an older audience. It's really impressive how much they tell in this movie. There's a lot of messages that get put across and a lot of boxes get checked marked off. It does tell a great story, but through the use of comedy, it's able to do both informative and storytelling. It does it really well. There are no multiples of Alan. He's just Alan. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused about that. The movie's wacky and fun, very animated. They don't waste any time trying to explain how the premise works or why things are happening the way they are. And I think it's for the better. It's a fantasy film. It doesn't need to explain the science behind everything. I also like that we're in a day and age where Marvel and multiverse superheroes with DC have made it possible for movies like Barbie to come out and the general audience are just kind of like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I've seen that before. And when I say this movie is very animated, I mean animated. It is essentially cartoon turned live action, and it's done a better job at doing so than most adaptations themselves. Everyone is a character of themselves, and there is a very meta way of dialogue and talking and narration that pushes like a pro-female agenda. And it's really nice to be able to laugh at situations that people have spent hours arguing on in Twitter. Now I'm gonna go into spoilers here, so you've been warned. Hey, I'm Mario. I like playing video games, watching movies, and Dungeons and Dragons. If you keep getting me in your suggested videos, or you're watching this video right here, consider subscribing. It goes a long way. Thank you. Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling are front and center in this movie, ever since they've been leaking the pictures and things like that from the beginning, and they are wonderful for it. They play Barbie and Ken so well. Their characters are very naive and uh, super influenced by the world around them, so much so that it helps us get a relating factor to each one of the characters. And even though this movie has a lot to say, and I do think it portrays saying those messages very well, I really want to talk about the core subject of the change and acceptance, because really Really, everything revolves around that. Barbie starts off perfect in this perfect utopia world that fits her. And she believes that she is bringing great change and influence to all the girls across the reality of realms. Worlds. Our world, real world. Only for herself to start becoming imperfect as well as starting to realize that she is part of the problem. Her journey is about her trying to get back that perfection, trying to change herself into how others view her or how she thinks she should be viewing herself. I mean, it's a reflection of, of society and the pressures that women may feel, and we see that as Barbie tries to gain perfection again, she gets burnt out to the point where she gives up. It is until that she accepts herself for who she is, flaws and all, that she is able to actually move on and be happy with herself. You know, I cried too, it's actually kind of amazing. What's great is Ken goes through the same process, but in reverse. Ken isn't something we're worried about. What? He starts off wanting to be looked at, feeling too neglected by Barbie and those around him. And whenever he ends up in the real world, he learns about patriotism and horses and learns that he can create his own world and find his own form of perfection, which we get the Kendom, which I thought was hilarious. And even though Ken finds perfection, he still feels like he's missing something, that there's not everything that he wants. And just like Barbie, he has to learn to accept himself in order to feel content and lose that ambition that he was driving so hard for that left him empty on the inside. This movie is fantastic at show don't tell. There's rarely a moment, if any, where the movie has to sit down and explain to the audience everything that's going on or why the characters are feeling the way that they're feeling. We're supposed to get that through the actions and expressions that the actors give us, which I love, and the situations that they make out of their decisions. Now, I don't feel like all storylines were tied with a nice bow. There is a mother 
and daughter who initially kind of bring Barbie into the real world, but their conflict with one another and their conflict with the world never feels like it's ever resolved. It seems like we skip the middle phase for them. They have problems, but then now everything is better for them. For whatever reason, I don't, not all the storylines get told in a satisfactory way. And for that, I think it's because of so much information that they're trying to put into this movie that other things get left out. The editing and cinematography does a great job at keeping up with the very animated pace that this movie is going for. Whenever there's a lot of jokes or things are supposed to be light humor, the editing starts to speed up or we cut the things really fast, very montage-like. Same with the camera. It moves and interacts with its characters when it's supposed to to let you all know that, hey, this isn't something that we really care about, let's just speed through it, get your laughs out, but whenever the serious moments do happen, everything settles and slows down and intensifies. A lot of this is very apparent with Barbie. She herself is going through a hero's journey, and as she is going on this journey, she kind of goes through these different phases where her character looks different from everyone else, whether she is lit up more with light and bright colorful clothing to the amount of makeup she's wearing and to where even though she's standing next to people, I swear they lower the brightness just on her, just so we get the more emphasis on how she's feeling and the world is helping tell this story that is being told with Barbie. This movie is so much more than I intended it to be. And yes, even though there are some storylines that feel like they fall off or don't get the proper resolution, it does so well in telling other stories and expressing itself in ways without having to give a tremendous amount of exposition. On top of being able to make you laugh about trivial things. That's why I gotta give Barbie a 9 out of 10. Until next time, play nice.